How does Damage Resistance work? Damage Resistance is a new stat introduced into the Mass Effect series which was designed to represent as the damage reduction stat that was present in Mass Effect 1. It applies percentage decrease in damage that is dealt against you that does less the more you have of it. That is to say, it quickly reaches a common RPG and economics term called diminishing returns past 100 damage resistance, which is referred to just about as the golden spot that halves all incoming damage. In summary, damage resistance reduces damage against shields, contrary to popular belief, and health, of which health typically being higher than shields gave birth to the myth that it didn't reduce damage against shields. The damage formula for final damage in respect to damage resistance in Mir now works as final damage equals base damage of the attack divided by 1 plus the player's damage resistance divided by 100. That's a bit confusing, so let's do an example. If you take 100 damage and you have no damage resistance, which is the base damage resistance for any character in the game, then you will take 100 divided by 1 plus 0 over 100, which is simply 100 divided by 1 and therefore you take 100 damage. Now let's assume you gained 50 damage resistance. 100 over 1 plus 50 over 100 becomes 100 over 1 1.5, which is 66.6 .6 recurring final damage, and it takes away damage away by 33%, or a third. That's pretty significant, considering 50 damage resistance is not a significant amount in meal. So what does tech armor do? It provides a flat 30 damage resistance, which is a 25% decrease in damage taken. It's very efficient and definitely good for just a free passive, considering how the Sentinel profile is particularly good for comboing too. Now let's say we gain another 50 damage resistance. 100 divided by 2 equals 50 final damage. Halved damage. The difference between 50 damage resistance and 100 damage resistance, however, is only 16.6 .6 damage, or 16.6%. 16% damage resistance isn't too shabby. Let's say you gain another 50 damage resistance from another source. 100 divided by 2.5 equals 40 final damage, a 10% additional damage resisted. The problem here is how you would have spent a lot of points or used a lot of resources to gain another 50 damage resistance in this circumstance, where it may have been used for power recharge speeds or weapon damage increases, or even better survivability like regeneration passives. You need to manage the DR you're receiving and balance it with other stats. If you stack too much DR, you'll get a diminishing return. That is, the more DR you have, the worse it gets. Here's a table of damage resistance in Mia. The Google Doc spreadsheet can be accessed from the description below where you can make a copy or just look for yourself. Here I've done a bit of statistical wizardry and spreadsheets on damage resistance in Mia. Again, if you want to get your own copy or look at this, you should look in the video description. This column over here ranges from 0 to 200, as 200 is nigh impossible to reach in multiplayer as of right now, but is easily achievable in single player and is kind of a milestone of sorts to represent a significant amount of DR. The next column goes into the damage formula and uses the DR column here and the base damage cell over here and puts the result, which would be this thing here, this is the function. The damage resisted column takes the resultant damage away from base damage, and the efficiency column, here, basically shows how much damage is resisted per point of damage resistance you have. This represents the damage formula efficiency, which is why it's called the efficiency column, and is very good at displaying the diminishing return golden point. To do just that, my next column is percentage difference of efficiency compared to the last result. Therefore, the first two columns are incompatible to do this, as zero damage resistance has no efficiency, and no efficiency compared to some efficiency is an infinite amount of percentage difference, so I obviously can't show it. This column shows finalistic efficiency, but it's not easy to decipher and actually explain the golden point, which is the point of doing all of this. Introducing the weight column. Here I have an arbitrary cell, here, F1, that sums up all values of percentage difference, and then I have this weight column divide the neighbouring cell percentage difference, so here to here, by the sum of all percentage differences. This tells us how much a cell weighs on all the other cells, note the term weight. By using conditional formatting, or in other words, colours, I can now represent the golden point of efficiency and function, the point at which getting more damage resistance hurts you more than it helps you. Therefore, the general guideline for this data is that you want to stay away from the blue side and you want to stay away from the red side. Technically. This is only true if you need resistances. 
classes with ranged biotics or infiltrators do not need to worry about stacking resistances as they, as they are supposed to be DPS classes, but that's for another video however. The point is, having any damage resistance at all is very worth it and has a significant effect on the damage you can take, however it will not become worth it in trading things like damage or recharge speeds past the damage resistance point of 110, as tanks don't actually exist in MEA right now. This doesn't take into account what recharge speeds you could have achieved otherwise instead of pursuing more DR, or what things you'd be capable of. But that would again tie into the core abilities and passives of classes, which is for another video. Thanks for watching. I love those dear hearts and gentle people who live in my hometown because those dear